Hey folks, Quill18 here, welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Sid Meier's Civilization 6, and it's not a Twitch VOD! Don't get me wrong, I love streaming this game, it's turned out to be so much fun, and honestly one of the best ways I've experienced Civilization 6 in a long time. The immediate interaction with people has been fantastic, but... There is something different and also special about an offline Let's Play. So that's what we're going to start today, and I'm pumped to do it. I don't know who I want to play, so I think we're just going to random it. I'm going to go ahead and create a game. Um, random leader. We're going to go day anti difficulty, although, <laughs> I don't know. Prepare yourself. We might lose, of course. Uh, we'll do uh, we'll do standard map size. Um, anything else we want to tweak? A lot of times I crank up the city-states. I do quite like the fact that max city-states is 18. What a good number. And I like city-states. But I kind of feel like we might do a bit of a pure run here. Just We just changed the size to standard. Um, or that was the speed, but the size to standard. Um, do we actually want to change the game speed at all? You know what? Let's go epic. Yes, I like it. Go. All right. So who we're going to get, we're going to find out once a uh, Seeny Beanie starts doing his thing. Once uh, once he starts doing it, I will actually mute myself so you guys can listen to the wonderful narration. We might end up with a civilization we've played before. Hopefully not one we've just, just played. From the first stirrings oh, ooh, Australia. of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Prime Minister Curtin, you will lead Australia through challenge after challenge, and your people will emerge all the stronger for it. Others will seek friendship for your strength. If these friends prove loyal, your might and protection will carry you far. But stay vigilant, for aggression is not your natural course. All righty, thank you for that, Mr. Sini Beanie. I'm happy you survived all the way through to the end of that. All right, so what does Australia do for? I, I don't I, I don't think I've played as Australia. I've run into John Curtin so many times in our Let's Plays, but I don't think I've ever been them. I'm not sure at this time. I'll, I'll try to look it up in between episodes, but okay. Citadel Civilization, plus 100% production. If either the... Oh, right, 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 right. Um, so if someone declares war on us, if they have received... Yes, if someone declares war on us, or if we liberated a city, we get double production boost. Um, well, sort of double because it doesn't necessarily multiply with other multipliers, but still. Uh, land down under, plus three housing, coastal cities, right? Pasture shriver, culture bomb. Okay, I remember that. I feel like I probably did play them before, actually. This is feeling too familiar. Yields from campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, and theater squares are plus one in tiles with charming appeal, right? Plus three in breathtaking. So we want beautiful terrain, if at all possible. We may work with this. We may just, you know, get to take advantage of it sort of passively from time to time. We will see. Uh, right, we've got our unique digger and the outback station, which we'll have to double check. I think it interacts with uh, um, pastures, I want to say. Outback station. Plus one food, plus one production, plus one fruit for each adjacent pasture. Yes, okay. No, I don't mind playing as Australia again at all. At all, at all. Desert. Oh, man. Prepare yourself. It's the joke we say every time. If only there was some sort of wonder that existed in the game that could make the desert tiles not be terrible. Oh, well. Now, is this, this probably a lake? It is a lake. All right. It, it's possible that this lake does sort of abut another ocean on the other side. We might be able to do something like double canal cities. Although, here's the thing. Since we can now build canals, we could always build a canal here if it turns out there's some way to get sea access on the other side. As far as our start, uh, it's not going to be brilliant here. Honestly, I'm a little bit worried about the production of our capital. And by a little bit worried, I actually mean quite a bit worried because it's very flat. There's one hill here. I still wish... The Civ... Wait. I was about to say, I still wish the Civ graphics made it easier to spot hills. How is this not... Does not look like a shade, like there's a hill going on here? But it's flat. Oh, but this is a hill. Ah, <sighs> Civ 6. Anyway. Um, but... Yeah, other than the fact that I'm a little bit worried about our production levels, um, it's quite nice. We do have a little bit of mountains for potentially, you know, at least a little adjacency bonuses with our campuses and stuff, which has been a problem in some of the games in the past. Lots of coastlines right now. It does benefit Australia quite a bit. All right, let's go ahead and go and, uh, yeah, we'll settle in place. Sounds good to me. We'll remove the wood tile. I mean, I guess I could move, I could move here and still settle on turn one, uh, which would preserve the wood. 
I could even move here and make use of this useless desert tile, but we're probably going to use, we're going to, we're going to reveal more desert and it's just going to be crappy. Um, moving over here. I mean, it doesn't change that much. Uh, I think there actually is some benefit to moving over there, but I, I'm going to stay in place. I'm partially gambling on the fact that the, um, the game does like to place your city within range of a certain number of, you know, luxuries or late game resources. There might be oil over here that later on we'll be able to take advantage of. Although we'll probably reach those tiles anyway. I'm not sure. I may have needed to move there, but we'll see. All right, we're playing on Deity. Now, having in bumped up the game speed from standard to, is it Epic? Yeah, because next one after that is Marathon, right? Is actually an advantage to the player because the more turns exist in the game, the more turns the player will have the ability to move their military around um, and use the one advantage we do have over the AI because the AI and deity is insane bonuses. So um, we're going to hope that that helps us out a little bit. Um, there is a pasture over here. There is some stone right away that would be nice to mine. Of course, we've got the boost to sailing. Um, probably what we do want to do is we want to make sure that we have access to archery in the not too distant future so that we don't die right at the beginning of the game. So I think animal husbandry becomes a pretty, pretty safe bet to, to grab. If we can reveal some horses nearby, that would also be nice because it would assist with some of our production and that would be all right. This being deity, I do always feel like you have to start with fairly secure. Um, let, let's go Scout Slinger. So Scout for, I mean, scouting, which is really nice. It can fight a little tiny bit, maybe. Um, and then a Slinger, because we will need the extra defense from the Barbarians, which are going to swarm all over us. And we really would like to get the Eureka for archery. So I think we'll do that. The Scout is a little greedier than um, just going Second Warrior, which is the absolute safest start. But I think we'll go in and do that. Um... In the interest that it's more movement, I'll go this way. I was going to say it's probably not going to reveal that much because of the rough terrain, but it's going to be all right. We did discover another continent right away. Well, okay. New continent discovered, Baltica. Well, Baltica is where we are. What's the other continent? Oh, maybe it just starts that way. Okay. Let me just check. We didn't actually get the boost for a second continent. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The way it was, it was worded there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, what tiles are we working on to start off? Oh, I also didn't talk about what mods we're running. I'm running three mods, better espionage screen, better trade screen. Both of them are nice, but not critical. The last one is better lenses, which is absolutely the most critical mod that I can't live without because of the highlighting of builder tiles. The other thing is people wonder if this is a mod. It used to be a mod that would give you this yield ribbon over here, but it is an option in the game. I just want to address that now. It was added into interface and show yields in HUD, HUD ribbon over here. Yeah, you could you can make it mouse over or always show, which is what I've got. We get a lot of questions about that on stream, so I want to make sure to address that. I think... Um, I do like to go in sort of a circle around my capital rather than just a beeline because then you don't spot things, but I think we will go up this way. All right, and then we'll cut we'll cut back through here and not get too, too far away. We'll probably send the scout to the east. Sheepies, some shoops. Uh, do I want to go a little further north? No, I'm going to stay in a slightly tighter circle. Oh, or maybe I should have gone north because it turns out there's a goodie hut up there, which we're clearly going to go to now. So you can beeline over there, my friend. It's a wasted a turn of movement. Little optimizations to look for to make up for the fact that there's plenty of other optimizations I don't do mostly because of laziness. Now, how do we feel about... Okay, I was like, hold on. I wasn't supposed to build a builder first. Did I miscue something? No, we got a builder from the goodie hut, which is awesome. Plus one error score as well. So what I was going to say, how do we feel about building farms in various places? I'm just trying to think... Am I going to want to build something else in those tiles, you know, later on? Something like that. Um, I think it's probably fine for us to build this here. Uh, we may end up building a harbor somewhere in Canberra at some point. It's unfortunate we won't be able to put it adjacent to the city without squashing the fish, which we don't want. But at least a harbor over here would still give us, like, the two gold from the adjacency over here. It's not as good as... You get two gold from being adjacent to the city, plus one for every, um, like, sea resource basically. So, um, depending on how things go, you can get a lot more money, but that'll be okay. And I think we'll still want the harbor, um, for trade. Uh, really, you basically want a, a har harbor or a commercial hub in every one of your cities because of trade routes, or at least I do. I don't know if you do, but I do. We can't cross the river right now because we have no movement. We may as well go one step up further. Really nice area over here. Incredible amounts of fertile terrain. I suspect there'd be a lot of flooding disasters. Who dis? Brussels? Are you serious? The very first city-state that I meet 
in a the first uh, just pure YouTube Let's Play in a long time, and it's Brussels. Makes me so happy. And also Rapa Nui over there. This also represents a little bit of a natural bridge or, or barrier or wall over here where the AI won't necessarily be able to forward settle me, which is nice. If someone ends up being over here and steal this, that would suck a lot. If there's no one here, we've got a really nice expansion path. And we don't know what else, you know, is kicking around. Um, how far are we to anything? Quite far. What are we working on? Yeah, that for now. Actually. Oh, the growth time would still be four turns. Okay, I guess that's fine. Um, I guess there's no reason for me to go and build anything else right now. I may as well just save the builder chargers for another improvement. Because we literally can't work two tiles. Even if we could work, like, two tiles, these two would probably still be what gets done. So, um... Oh, building terrain improvements can lead to Eureka, but we've got plenty of time for that. Uh, I will go here to reveal a little bit more. And yeah, you just sit there. That's going to be okay. Uh, inspiration, political... Oh, is that our third city-state? That's our third city-state. Who dis? Oh, cobble over there. Okay, that does impact our eastern expansion potentially a little bit, but it's not too bad. So far, no, not worried. I'm very happy that we've met our third city-state because now we've Eureka'd um, political philosophy or whatever it was. Yeah, you can stay there. We've expanded to that tile. Oh, yeah, that's much better tile. Um, okay, I guess that would have been one of the advantages to have moved over here. We would have worked that tile right away. I should have considered that. I should have put the yields on and then given given some think. I don't usually play with the... Um, what am I looking for? Map tax? Map options, yeah. I don't usually play with the yield icons turned on because most people find them a little too noisy. But I probably should have... No, and normally when you have a... When you have a settler selected, it will put the settler lens on. Um, well, it'll put something on, but it also, by default, I think it'll show me my yields. Unless there was a mod that I had turned on for that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I will go for a slinger here. There's going to be barbarian spawning pretty soon. One of the nice things about Rapid, or Kabul being over here is that mo it makes it much less likely that barbarians will spawn right here. And if they do, they might harass Kabul instead of myself. Um, but here, there's a lot of territory for things to spawn. And and to our, um, to our west as well. All right, Scoot... I wonder if it might actually still be worth sending you down there. Now, we'll, we'll send you east, as was... What a grand sight this must present in the wet season. Waterfalls in every direction. Culture and faith in adjacent tiles appeal in adjacent tiles. Astrology boost is nice. Unfortunately, it's all desert tiles, which are not going to be... I mean, the game is saying, if you build a Petra here, it will be amazing. But building wonders on deity tends to be a road to losing, unless it's done very carefully. Oh, and we got an extra scout here. I would have preferred maybe a military unit, but, I mean, it's still a kind of military unit. Actually, no. I think the water here, you're not going to be able to pass through that area. So we'll do that. Oh, by the way, the cat thing's not really a mod either. There's you get Anyone can get the uh, the cat scouts. Um, it, do you link your, like, Facebook account or some damn thing? I don't know. Just Google it. If you don't know how to get the, the cat scouts in Civ 6, if you Google it, you'll see. There's just a thing you do, and then, boom, it's yours. Um, I do want to explore this area here, but I think I will go step here first. Dash like that. I think that's just another city-state. Might be worth meeting them. We'll probably meet them fairly soon, though. Uh, all right, animal husbandry is coming into two turns. We're going to get ourselves in position on top of the deer to be able to improve that. Hey, that's nice. Okay. We'll plan on that. And you're going to come here. His best. Code of Laws that is, is in place. All right, best. let's make some policy changes. Now, we're not fighting any barbarians yet. I think we can afford to run survey for a little bit, which would be nice. We want God King so that we generate faith so that we can get ourselves a Pantheon. And... Well, well, I don't really necessarily care which one of these happens first. Well, I guess ideally it would actually be craftsmanship first. Um, what we'll do is we'll start partially researching them and stop if we haven't gotten the uh, the boost yet. Yeah, I may as well go here. Hello, Arma. Because we've got our other scout. That! That is another nation. And they're damn close to my capital. Which does not fill me with joy. And these are not barbarians. Okay. 
a couple impressive. These like red background city states always have me concerned because it's like I just see a red unit. I'm like, is that a barbarian? Oh no, it's not. That's a lot of mercury. Oh, it's Mr. Brass Nipples himself. I don't know what you're saying there, Alex. It just sounds like Greek to me. But uh, it's an honor to meet you. Sure, we'll sample your hospitality. That's going to be okay. No so, in... Greeks. Oh, he opened up his uh, his methadone clinic over here. Uh, the Greeks, especially with Alex here. Yeah, he's um he's fairly aggro. And because it, the deity level AI start with a bunch of free military units. They start with three settlers, a bunch of military units, a bunch of techs. And also, because we're in the early era right now where there's no warmongering penalty or no... Um, uh, what's it called now? The grievances. No grievances from starting a surprise war. The AI is usually more than eager to start a war as early as possible. This might be a really, really, really short run. One, one episode long, let's play. It's entirely possible. Now, we got the boost to astrology. But no, what we need to do is we need to get our archery. If we can't get a kill on a slinger, well, I think we're just going to have to hard research it. Um, because being this close to, to Lexi here... We are definitely going to be have to be a little bit paranoid about him starting a very early Several war. Another wonder over here. Peaks Doubles train yields of all adjacent tiles. Okay. Uh, you got a promotion, which we'll use now. Um, there's not that many woods. I mean, there's some. I'm just trying to like balance. Do like we care about the wood one or the hill one? Um, either way, we can get sentry because they all link. I think I'll go alpine here. It's not much of a big deal either way. I think Alpine might give us a little bit more free movement just in our immediate surroundings. Do I want to go next turn? I think so. You're about to finish this. is okay. We've got two units of population, which is that and that. Again, I could focus on the growth or something, but I don't know. The production's pretty okay, too. We'll shave four turns off our next pop. Yeah, no, let's, let's get a little extra food. Well, we may as well come here and see what we can see. All right, so that's not his capital. Um, so his capital is probably just somewhere over here. Because yeah, I think Deity, I should bring up the uh, the wiki page, but I think Deity starts with three settlers. So one for their first city, and then they plop down two extras right away. And yeah, I think they start with four techs and four civics. That's usually what I say, and I don't think people usually correct me, so hopefully it's right. I think I have to start a settler right now. I think we have to go settler into another builder into then maybe nonstop military production. But we have to have at least one more, one extra city on the map or, I mean, nothing's ever going to happen. We'll have just given up the game completely. Uh, Barbarian outpost. Okay, over there. Oh, yeah, I should actually swing my, uh, my warrior over there and my slinger as well. I mean, I think the warrior will end up there so he doesn't crack cross river, which probably means the slinger will just end up there. Uh, that's the wrong unit. Uh-oh. Hopefully that's okay. Um, now, the scout could help a little bit with the combat. Let me just do this first. Just in case this gets cut off from revision later on. I think I will bring the, the scout up here. Just in case we need to tweak the math to make sure to get our slinger kill in a fairly convenient manner. I think for now, yeah, we'll move here. I'll move there. That's going to be okay. Got some river flooding. Sure, that's fine. Uh, down here. Ooh, goody hut! A free envoy. Okay, we're nowhere close to getting a policy to get the, the doubled up on the envoy. Do I want to send one somewhere? Well, apparently, I don't know what I did to get two with Preslov, but I'm already here. Uh, Brussels, that's the building. A little bit more faith. I think what we want, because this only helps with building buildings, right? Yeah, not civilian units. So let's get the first level of armor here for the two faith in the capital. Because we're going to go from one per turn to three per turn. Tripling up our faith is kind of sexy. Okay, well, we're not going to fight you with the scout. Last on Dance of the Aurora. Okay, so I'm thinking his capital has got Tundra around it, which is pretty good because um, that's a bad tile. And 
I like the fact that he's got it, not me. Um, I guess I'll still be able to sling next turn regardless. I'm not going to attack here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop this now. I will do it over here rather than next to the mountain because that might be our place for like, I don't know, Campus plus Holy Site. It's not like there's much in the way of rain. For, um, one, two, three. Okay, I can put something between these two mountains. It's not too shabby. I'd love if I could kill that scout just to get a step closer to the you have killed blah barbarians thing. All right, move there, move here. Now, if I were to bombard, you wouldn't die. If I were to attack here, you would probably die. If I attack with a scout, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to do this to bring his hit points down to hopefully kill zone with the scout. Bam! That Eureka's archery. Beautiful. Good timing, too. Uh, no, sorry, I'm misreading this. This is where I would want to stop research if I didn't have the boost. And then we still have a movement left over to do that, get the gold, and get some error score. That worked out, well, pretty much as good as it could possibly do it. There's a boost for craftsmanship, so we're researching things that we have boosted in both ways. Well, I don't know where that uh, that scout went. Oh, he might have been killed by uh, the prize living warrior, although wouldn't he be damaged? I don't know. Is this the hill? Okay. I'm going to position the warrior on that. I'm going to... I'm going to bring the slinger home gen generically here because um, we're probably going to need someone to escort that. But also in nine turns, we might just be able to upgrade you. I'm going to arrest you and then I'll probably put you on auto-explore for laziness. And yeah, same thing here. You can just go and be auto-explore now. God, these two guys have generated a lot of units. And why are they exactly the same color? All right, Slinger, Archery, Castmanship, that's all good. Bring that over here. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives as many useful objects. Builders, such as this, um... I don't know. No, no, no. We don't have our... Pa the thing is, we're almost... I think we get a Pantheon at 25, right? Ah! It might be different on Epic, but the fact is, we actually are getting a lot of passive faith from the city-state. So I'm going to swap in urban planning for the production boost. We want discipline at some point, but we don't need it right now. I may as well get more experience on our on our two scouting units. Normally, I don't end up running that, because usually I don't have an opportunity to do it. Um, we have the boost to military tradition, which is really nice, but my priority in the early game is always to get the political philosophy as quickly as possible, because unlocking a government type is just a huge boost. So we have to go with Ferengi trade first. It'd be nice to discover a second continent. But if we're playing on standard map, well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, these, these This looks like sort of aggressive movement, doesn't it? Son of a... Five turns to archery. I'm not going to stop building a settler. If he declares war on me now, um, it's just going to be GG. And it's going that's going to be fine. Okay, he's just taunting me because I'm not, you know, I don't have an, a big military. I'm sorry, I don't get to start with a million free ones like some people. Uh, I probably should pull back as much as possible here, actually. I was originally just going to keep an eye on things, but I think it might be better to just do this. There's the war. No, there's the announcement. Really? Why would you denounce before war? Because he shouldn't feel like he has to in this difficulty setting? I don't know. I don't know if that's the way I wanted that scout to go. Why would he come down there? I may have to override your behavior. Actually, let me do that now. And you just fortify up. Yeah, I'm going to send you, like, way over here. Is this not the war deck? There's the war deck. He didn't even wait for five turns. Still a surprise war. Yes, announcing doesn't matter. All right. If we lose Canberra, we'll just we'll just restart. And that's, and that's fine. I'm okay with it. Now we'll do this. Uh, we may as well take a whack at this guy. I'm fine with that. And I'm still going to finish the settler. Because if I don't get a settler out, we're just, we're just going to have lost the game regardless. You know, even if I just defend my home city, which I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to. But even if I can, it's not going to matter. So this will mean not firing with the archer or the slinger this turn. But the archer is so much more powerful that we're going to do this. We have to we have to go with a slight amount of greed to try to just not lose. Uh, that will punish us too much. So we will just have to fortify here, unfortunately. 
Um, and from here... Actually, we'll probably pop mining next to try to get the stone. Temple of Artemis. Oh, that would be great, but no. Now we start building the archer. Um, and we're going to get our settler to go this way. It's certainly, this is where we actually would like to settle early on, but it's not going to be possible. So, uh, and I'm going to move my scout away. Oh, barbarian scout. That's... What we, no, I don't know. Kember is going to take a lot of damage here. Okay. We can bop you. Get enough experience for promotion. That's awfully nice. Of course, unescorted settler. If he gets caught by something, again, we'll just... That's fine. We'll just restart. Um, attacking the Slinger, because he can hit our city with impunity would be good. But, and that's often my priority, because he can attack without taking damage back. But I think here what we want to do is do that. Because at this point, without walls, the melee units are kind of just as dangerous. Um, no to that... He's got a land connection, but he might not have anything to send there. Because the interesting thing is, it could potentially canal all the way, but what's the point? We don't really need ships to be able to have access to that. I mean, this is relatively safe, but no good. I would love to, actually, to a certain extent, I would like to do that. I think I might just run down to here or something like that. Again, at this point, if my settler gets uh, gets booped, it's okay. We'll just restart. Um, I'm tempted to even just attack this guy, and I think I will. All right, let's hold on for another turn. Now, they don't have a lot left in the tank. That's obviously a freebie. Is that the way I want to do it? Do I want to shoot another one? Do I want to shoot him? And then, no, I don't think so. I think we do do this. Um, and I think this guy is gonna is actually doing the most damage to the city, but I don't think we can actually stop him from taking out here. Uh, does anything save us super short term? I mean, there might be. God of War doesn't help here. Get a builder. All city growth rate is improved. The settler. Here, I'm going to take Religious Settlement. So we can get a free Settler, because we're not working on another Settler right now. I am annoyed that I'm going to have to send it this way again, which is not really where I want to go long term. I'll give you the Ranger one, because there's actually quite a bit of forest where you are. Does Canberra just fall? Yeah. All right. I'm going to put this video up because I actually don't have a problem at all with how we started. I think that was just that was just going to be the way it goes sometimes on Deity, and that's okay. I'm actually quite happy with this video. Hope you are too. Hey, I can't wait to start another game, <laughs> which is going to happen now. Thanks for watching. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.